And this is definitely a testimony of the love of God, the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God, and how even when you're believing, you're just taken by surprise when it happens so very, very fast. For the last few months, we have been under attack, our health and our finances. It started a few months ago, and it started very simple. Um, Joe had two front teeth that cracked, and they had to be removed, and they had to be capped. So when he came home with a bad report, we sowed the word of God. We're givers. We're tithers. We believe that our every need is met out of his riches and glory in Christ Jesus, and we sowed financial seed for it. So we were standing on the word, and we were believing. So a few more weeks go by, and the enemy ups the attack. Now I'm attacked. I go for a cleaning for my teeth, and I'm told that under a bridge that I have is a major infection. The tooth has to be removed. The bridge has to be removed, and I need to have a new bridge. Okay, <laughs> so we come home, we get an agreement, and I ask the Lord, Lord, what is going on here? And he said, the enemy is trying to devour your health and your finances. So Joe and I added to our confession that we are tithers, and Satan, you have no right to devour our health and our finances. So now, of course, the finances, <laughs> the, the debt here has increased immensely. So we're going on, we're believing God, and we're still sowing financial seed for this. So um, a week ago Wednesday, Joe goes in for a dental cleaning, and the third attack comes. Well, this time it was extremely serious because his health was really being attacked. He was told that seven teeth had major bacteria that were eating up his gums and the root of the teeth. And if you know anything about bacteria in the mouth, it's very serious because it can travel throughout the rest of your body and cause other disease. He was given a very, very bad prognosis. They didn't think that they could save um, the teeth. They thought that two would have to be pulled. They thought they'd have to be a root canal. And these teeth were attached to a, um, um, a partial that he had that gave him chewing capacity. They didn't think they could save the partial, which would mean he'd be eating applesauce <laughs> for the rest of his life. So this happened on a Wednesday. We got this report. So we come to church Wednesday night. So Pastor Nid turns around and she says to me, Darlene, how are you? <laughs> so I go, I'm not good. <laughs> So she came over and she asked what had happened and I, I told her. And she just laid her hand on me and she said, you need to get in the peace. She could just see there was no peace. You just need to get in the peace. And she said to me, do you promise that you'll get in the peace? So I didn't think that I could, but I said, yes, I will, I will get in the peace. So through all of these attacks that were going on through the months, the word of God was coming forth so powerfully. And every time we had an attack, the, God would speak to us and he'd speak to our heart. Um, Pastor Tim did a teaching on how the, the Satan is a liar and how he tells you every time there's no way out. He can't help you this time, you know. So all of the teachings that we received here were encouraging and holding us up through these times. The next day when you told me to get in the peace, I went home and I said that morning in my prayer time, I said, okay, Lord, I got to get in the peace. So I went to Philippians 4. And I said, I'm going to follow the directions that are in there. It said, first, rejoice. Okay, so did I feel like rejoicing? No, I did not. <laughs> but I did. I said, okay, I'm rejoicing. I am setting my will. I am going to receive your joy, and I'm going to be happy, and I'm going to be content. So then the next phase of it is get rid of the worry and the fear. So I said, Lord, I'm just giving the worry to you, giving the fear to you. I'm casting it away. Then the next step is pray. So I went to the scriptures we had been standing on, that he meets all of our needs and that he rebukes the devourer for our sakes. And I said, Lord, this is what we have been praying, and I believe this word. So then the next step is make your petition clearly known. I said, okay, I'm going to write down everything that I'm asking you for. And we're going to stand believing that you answer this. So the first thing I did was I prayed for the safety and protection over Joe, that this attack would not 
hurt his health. Then I prayed for skill and wisdom on the doctor to be able to save the teeth. Then I prayed that he'd be able to keep that partial so he could chew. So then I prayed also for the finances. I said, Lord, this debt has just gone astronomical. You know, I, I don't see any way for us in the natural to pay this, but you are great. I'm just going to trust you for it. So that was what I prayed. So Sunday came, we come to church, and Pastor Nid calls us up for prayer. She prayed exactly everything that we had written down and asked the Lord for, word for word. And I'm, as she's praying, I'm like, wow, Lord, you are really amazing. She's praying for exactly everything. And then that Tuesday, Pastor Nid added prayer that there would be no pain for Joe. So the surgery for his mouth was scheduled for Tuesday. On Monday, we received the greatest blessing that we were just in so awe and so overwhelmed, and words were just too hollow. Some faithful bondservant of the Lord heard the Lord speak, and they paid off our entire debt. So before we even went into the surgery, we could go in with the confidence that our debt was paid and that we would owe nothing for it. God is just so, so good, and the words are so hollow. There are not words enough to express the gratitude. And when that bond servant did this, this is what came up in me, that they are so faithful, they gave to the Lord, that person gave to the Lord, and that supplied what was lacking to us, the saints. And in us, it just overflowed in many, many cries of thanksgiving. And when we stand as the body of Christ together in that corporate anointing and in that love for each other, we meet the needs of the body. And it blesses God's heart, and it allows his work and his love to go forward. You know, we stand in that testimony of the gospel of Christ that we believe. And I just want to thank this body for the word that goes forth in power, the anointing that goes forth, this body that stands together and prays together for the people. So Tuesday, the surgery comes, and the report was exceedingly, abundantly above anything we could have hoped or dreamed or asked for. All of the teeth were saved. All of the bacteria was removed. The partial is going to be able to be put back in, and the new um, caps for his teeth is being made. So, and also, he had no pain. <laughs> so, and no pain is amazing because this was a four hour procedure of scaling bacteria out of the gums. And the dentist even said she has never seen gums respond this favorably. So, glory to God. He met every need, just as he said he would. And he's just so faithful. And so I just want to encourage you that he always hears you. He always sees you. He always knows exactly where you are. And he never, never, never will fail you. Um, the, the total debt was $16,000. <laughs> so glory to God. New Life Family Worship, because what you learned may not have been the truth.